hello and welcome to magic autocad today we are going to study how to use a polyline and before we go to that let's quickly see the difference between a line and a polyline so let's first of all go to a line and click then let's make an object okay let's say a triangle of this nature click there escape then let's go to polyline you click there click click and there escape so when you see that when you touch a line okay or when you select on the line only the length of the line segment will be selected on like this one and this one but on polylines when you touch or select on a polyline the whole object it's going to be selected so <clears throat> that is the first difference then secondly how to change a line to polyline to change a line to polyline either you type in j okay to have join or you go to modify to select this command joint okay then you select these three lines then enter so automatically it becomes a polyline so when you select at one point the whole sub object will be selected then how can you change a polyline to a line just go to the command explode okay then you, you select you press enter okay you will see that it has moved from polyline to to lines okay so that is that then this one becomes polyline okay let's delete that sorry then now let's go to polyline proper the first thing I want to know about polyline is okay let's click on a point okay click on a second point that is original polyline then let's say this second length you want to increase the thickness of the line then you go to 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 this command line then you see options there click on half width okay half width you click then you specify the half width what width will you like to start with then let's type point one enter then don't move yet you will see again specify n half width then let's enter again point one enter okay then you have a thickness of that secondly let's try it again let's go to half width this time around let's type in point two and see point two enter then point two again enter then let's see what we got here okay you see that the the width has increased now what if you want one end to be smaller and the other end to be bigger let's just say an inclined line okay an inclined line okay what we do is you go to the half width let's put in point let's start with point two where we ended point two enter then the, the second point let's put point five okay enter so this is what we got you see that your line has inclined okay now what if you want to have a sharp head okay what if you want to have a sharp head arrow something like that you go back to half width let's go back to half width then this time around let's type in zero okay zero enter then the end point let's type in point five enter okay here you have this 
okay this is what you got okay so you have a sharp arrow like that now let's see how it works the other way around what if we want to start with a bigger end and ends with a smaller end okay let's go to the width okay let's enter sorry half width let's type in 0.5 this time around enter then let's type in and get zero enter okay so there you are that's what you're gonna have then you can click escape from there okay now look here let's go back to polyline okay then here you are you specify a point then you specify a point there then now you can go to the line command then let's click on act okay then here you can make an act okay you can make an act here you can make an act okay this is an act here then here let's click here to see it cannot click okay if you click on straight line it can it cannot click why because it's still in an arc shape okay you see an arc shape so you can only go round like this round 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 and round because you already activated it to act okay to change it back to a line you go down to the command line and then you have you click on line okay automatically it changes so here you can have a line and then to end this line maybe you want to click it at this end point just go to close click on close let's go back to polyline okay then let's click to a point here then let's go back to and then we we'll click on half width okay let's enter the beginning point one enter what if you enter just one point let's see what you got if you enter only the beginning point then oh you see what you got why because you didn't specify the end point so you have a very large end point infinity okay moving to infinity ends so when you see this how do you end it how do you end this line so we go back to the line command then you click on width not half width you click on width click on width let's type in zero enter then you type in zero again then enter okay you have your normal line now let's see how we can use other commands again okay let's click at a point okay then let's see if we extend to this level then we go back to arc okay we go to arc then you might there are several options here like the angle the center you know the second point width line and so on so let's click on angle to see how to use the angle so here you'll be given the action the option of the angle okay you'll be given an option of angle here is 60 let's click on 60 okay you click on 60 then the second angle should be the second angle should be at 120 then you click there okay so that is what you got then let's go to the radius to see what we got radius then you'll be asked to enter the radius of your arc okay the radius of your arc then let's see let's put three enter okay that's what you got a radius of your arc then you enter the second point again at three enter okay and so you have something of that nature so you just keep playing with it 
polyline go round 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 and round yeah so that's gonna be all for now please don't forget to subscribe if this tutorial helped you in one way or the other thank you